Hi, I'm Eddie Ball. When you're ready to sink your million dollar shot, nothing goes better with the sushi bucket than my low-fat cracker snack, Air Crunchies. You know, how could the pilgrims ever be contented when Airball Crunchies had not been invented? Get your Airball Crunchies at a grocery store near you. I'm Eddie Ball, and I approve of this message. Jones with 13 WMAZ and I'm bringing you this story straight from the heart. I'm joined now by Eddie Ball, the winner of the Finkel Foods Million Dollar Shot Contest. Thanks very much for being here with us, Eddie. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, so tell me first off, how did you find out about this contest? Well, my mom works for Finkel Foods and she brought home a um, Finkel Facts paper which highlighted the words Finkel to give away $1 million. Now, to enter the contest since your mom works for Finkel Foods? Well, you really couldn't because um, they didn't allow you to um, if, you're a parent, if, you, if your family is or anyone who works for Finkel Foods is not allowed to. So what did you have to do to enter the contest? Well, we had to write a poem about the savory fingers and we also had to send in 10 finger box tops. Very interesting. So what was the poem that you wrote? I wrote, how could the pilgrims ever be contented when savory fingers had not been invented? Hmm, that's, that's good. I like that. So why did you want to enter this particular contest? Well, my father died one year ago, so, and my mom was only the only one working, so I thought I'm, I'm trying to do my share of it. I'm sorry to hear about your father. So did you play basketball at your school? Yes, um, I was a great shooter. I wasn't so good at dribbling, um, mm -hmm. but I could shoot the daylights out of the ball. So who helped you train? Well, my best friend Annie and my best friend's Annie's dad, Mr. Stokely. Wow, that was nice of him. So how did you train? Well, I shot about 500 foul shots a day. Okay. Um, so what was your percentage on those shots? Well, I could make 9 out of 10. Oh, that's really good. All right, so you want a trip to New York. Have you been there before? No, ma'am. It was actually my first plane ride. It was a little, it's a bit intimidating and nervous. To yeah. Play the first time. That's a big trip. So who traveled with you? Well, my mom, um, Mr. Stokely, and Annie. Okay, so did you have a lucky charm or a lucky basketball or anything like that? Well, I did have a Susan B. Anthony coin that my father gave me. Alright, so I've always wanted to know, what did you think of Madison Square Garden? Well, it was, um, when I went into the place, I thought it was humongous. It was, um, very loud, noisy, I bet. a bit intimidating with that. So how did you tune out all the noise going on? Well, I closed my eyes, I emptied my head, and I, I just bounced the ball five, three times, and I shot the ball. So how did it feel when you made that million dollar shot? Well, it was like in slow motion. I saw the ball arching its way up and into the hoop, and I saw it go around the rim three times, and then the last time I was thinking, is it going to go in or is it going to go out? And finally, it went in. So how did you feel when it went in? That's huge. Well, I was just thinking I was happy it was over. I came there what I was to do, and I was happy about it. What did you do with the money? Well, I bought Finkel Foods Company, and I put my mom and the company chef in dreaming up new foods. Mm -hmm. And since my coach was um, good at helping people, I named him the company officer. And, um, and Annie the Advertiser. And, really? And our new slogan was, how could the pilgrims ever be contented when airball crunches had never been invented? Wow, that's just an amazing story. Eddie Ball, we thank you so much for being here with us today. Congratulations to you and great work. Well, Frank, I'll send things back to you in the studio.